There are some commands that help you to move, copy, rotate, scale, or stretch your sketches. Right now, I am in a sketching mode, and because I want to be normal to this mode, I just press Ctrl-8, and this takes me to the normal mode. What I'm going to do is to move this circle to the right. It is easy to move a circle. Just go and grab the circle by the center. If I move my mouse over the center of the circle and hold my left click, you can see that by dragging it to the right or left, I can move it. This is easy about circle. So let's press escape so that the selection is not in effect anymore. What I'm going to do is to do the same thing over this rectangle. If I want to do this, first of all, I make sure that all the rectangle is selected. Then my mouse, I, I hover my mouse over one of the sides and grab it and try to move it. You can see that this way I can move different objects. But this is not possible in every situation. And of course, this is not a wise move because whenever you want to move something, you want to make sure that it moves exactly to the place that you want. So how can I do this? So let's do this. I'm going to click on the circle. The circle is selected. Now on the left side, the property tells me that the circle is selected. And I can go over this move entities and click on the command. Of course, you can do the vice versa. You can click on the move entities and then select your entities. I'm going to examine both of them. So first I selected the circle and I click on the move entities. Here you can see that on the entities to move, it tells me that an arc is selected. Now it gives me two different options. The first option is it tells me I can move it from some place to another place. Or I can move it as much as, for example, this inches to the x and this inches to the y direction. So which one do I choose? I'm going to click on from 2. This way it asks me a start point. I just click on the center and then when I move my mouse to the left or right or any other direction you can see that the circle is moving and when I am happy with the place I just click. That's it. This is one type of movement. So once again, I click on the circle, the circle is selected. Now I click on the move entities, it tells me that an arc is selected. I'm choosing from two and make sure that this dialog box is, this, this text box is activated. If it is not, I just click on that. Then I choose a point on the circle or any other place, for example, origin or even here. It doesn't matter where you click. Wherever you click, that's going to be your base point. And this is very important to know that base point can be anywhere on the object or any other place. For example, if I want to move it relative to the origin, I go and click on the origin. And this way, I can move it. You can see that my mouse is here. And I go and click on here. And you can see that the circle is moved relative to the origin. OK, the next type of Executing this command is just clicking on the command and then make sure that entities to move is activated. If it is not, just click on the text box and then select the entities that you want to move. For example, I want to move all of this rectangle, so I just draw a rectangle to select all of the sides. You can see that it tells me there are four sides, four lines selected. I'm keeping the relationships so all the relationships are going to maintain and then I need to choose a start point so I click on the base point and make sure this is activated uh, my starting point can be anywhere I'm going to click on this and then move it to the origin and click again now you can see that it moved to the origin based on the first point that I clicked now what I'm going to do is to choose move entities once again, select the circle and here instead of from 2, what I'm going to do is to choose X and Y. This way I can say that I need this circle to go 3 inches to the right and 1 inches to the top. Now you can see that it goes 3 inches to the right and 1 inches to the top. So 
what I'm going to do to is to change it to minus one so this way it goes one inch to the bottom now if I click on OK the move is completed uh, one interesting thing again I click on the command select the object make sure that XY is selected what I'm going to do is to choose uh, two inches to go to the right and minus one inches to the bottom now you can see that it shows me a shadow of the object and the new position of the object I'm going to click on repeat this way I'm repeating two inches to the right hand one inches to the bottom you can see that by clicking on the repeat the original shape is here but I have moved it two times and you can see that it tells me right now it has four inches to the right hand minus two inches and I'm going to click on repeat again you can see that now it has six inches to the right and three inches to the bottom whenever I'm happy I just click on OK and it's done so you saw how to move objects okay the next command is copy entity once again you can select the object and then click on the command or click on the command and then select the object both are applicable so what I'm going to do is to click on copy entities and make sure that entity to copy is activated so that I can select the object this time I'm going to select the circle and now you can see that it says uh, keep relations I don't have any relationship so that's okay once again I can select from two or select XY but notice that repeat is active in both of them so I can choose from 2 or X, Y and again repeat is going to be there so what I'm going to do is to select the start point for example the center of the circle and then move it you can see a yellow circle that is kind of a shadow of the original circle and the original circle is not like a shadow it is the original circle so it is not going to be removed what I'm going to do is to click here and now the copy is done so let's choose the circle and go to copy entities once again what I'm going to do is to select XY this time I'm going to enter minus 2 minus 2 and you can see that it goes here if I click on repeat again it is going to add to the uh, original what I'm going to do is to click on OK that's it so you can copy entities like this the other type of copying is to hold the control key and go to the object I'm going to select the subject first then hold the control key and try to drag the object to the left or right now you can see that again this is kind of a copy so hold the control key grab the object and move it to the right now you can see that because two objects were selected I have a copy of two objects I select the object here so that other objects are deselected only this object is selected hold the control key and try to drag the object to the place that you want it now we have multiple copies of our objects